You're watching Skywatch Media News for the week of January 14th, 2019. Here's what's happening. Something very unusual that has geologists concerned is happening right now at the top of our world. Earth's north magnetic pole is moving at a heightened pace away from Canada and towards Siberia, driven by liquid iron sloshing within the planet's core. The magnetic pole is moving so quickly that it has forced the world's geomagnetism experts into a sudden and rare move. The experts were set to update the world magnetic model on January 15th, a model which describes the planet's magnetic field and which dictates all modern navigation. However, the release of the new model was postponed until the end of January due to the ongoing U.S. government shutdown. The latest version of the model came out in the year 2015 and was supposed to function for five years until the year 2020. But the magnetic field is changing so rapidly that it has to be fixed now. According to geomagnetists from the NOAA, the air in the magnetic model is increasing daily and it must be corrected. The problem lies partly with the moving pole and partly with other shifts deep within the planet. In 2016, part of the magnetic field temporarily accelerated deep under northern South America and the eastern Pacific Ocean. By early 2018, the world magnetic model was in trouble. Researchers from NOAA and the British Geological Survey realized that the variation in Earth's magnetic field were so inaccurate that it was about to exceed the acceptable limit for navigational errors. It is now almost certain that the Arctic Pole is in the midst of a tremendous shift. The speed of the movement began to pick up in the mid-1990s from around 9 miles movement per year to 34 miles per year where it is today. By the year 2000, the magnetic North Pole had already entered the Arctic Ocean. Nearly 19 years later, the pole crossed the international date line into the Eastern Hemisphere where it is now making a mad dash towards Siberia. The fact that the pole is moving fast makes this region more prone to large errors in the magnetic model. Scientists are trying to determine why the magnetic field is changing so dramatically. One theory that is being discussed is hydromagnetic waves rising from deep in the core. The fast motion of the north magnetic pole could be linked to a high-speed jet of liquid iron located beneath Canada. The jet of molten liquid is spreading out and weakening the magnetic field beneath Canada, and therefore Canada is losing a magnetic tug of war with Siberia. At a recent meeting of the American Geophysical Union in Washington, D.C., geomagnetists indicated that the location of the North Magnetic Pole appears to be governed by two large patches of magnetic field, one beneath Canada and the other located beneath Siberia. Right now, the Siberian patch appears to be the stronger field. So what are the implications of a magnetic pole shift? The most worrisome sign is that such an event could have catastrophic effects, wreaking havoc on the electric grid and leaving life at the surface exposed to higher amounts of solar radiation. Scientists estimate Earth's north and south magnetic poles flip every two to three hundred thousand years. But it's been roughly 780,000 years since the last such event, causing many to suspect we're overdue suggesting that the next shift is unpredictable, but theoretically could occur in our lifetime. When the magnetic poles flip, 
Earth's protective magnetic field weakens, leaving its inhabitants at higher risk from the effects of space weather. Even with a strong magnetic shield, which is something that our world has been blessed to have, the Earth is still susceptible to very strong solar storms that can wreak havoc on society. And so it seems that the latest study of the pole movement suggests Earth's magnetic field is a lot more unpredictable than previously suspected. And therefore, the changes happening to the magnetic poles are dependent on the changes happening in space, and are therefore an indicator of how susceptible the human race is to the combined forces of nature and the cosmos. With the dramatic shift of the magnetic north pole, the probability of a polar flip becomes more likely, although there is no way of knowing when this will happen. But there are signs that indicate a reversal could happen sooner rather than later. The protective field of the Earth that extends thousands of miles into space and the magnetism affect everything from the auroras to the power grids. This field, which is so important to life on Earth, has weakened by more than 15% in the past two centuries, and its destabilization is ten times faster than initially thought. This could be a sign that the Earth's poles could soon flip. The belief that a magnetic pole shift would have little, if any, lasting effects on the Earth is both misleading and inaccurate. The effects could be more serious than what is being told to the public. One of the biggest concerns of a reversal would be the devastating effect it would have on power grids across the world. Imagine the electrical power supply going dark for many months and what this could do to the global economy and the lives of everyday citizens. But the dangers do not stop with this. Such an event could also radically change the Earth's climate. In fact, studies taken recently claim that the Earth is experiencing a period of low cloud cover due to an insufficient influx of cosmic rays entering the atmosphere. Furthermore, radiation at ground level could also increase, with some estimates suggesting overall exposure to cosmic radiation would double causing more deaths from cancer directly related to space radiation. In addition, the ozone holes would be larger and they would last much longer. So, if the magnetic field continues to decline, the Earth could end up like the planet Mars, a once oceanic world that has become a dry, barren planet that is incapable of supporting life. And while speaking of Mars, Elon Musk, the founder of SpaceX, is incredibly eager to launch a starship to the Red Planet. Is the rush to get to Mars a matter of ego for the space pioneer? Or is he aware of something that makes this project a matter of priority? SpaceX is working on a full-scale, orbit-ready prototype of a starship capable of carrying 100 passengers and 150 tons of cargo on a mission to planet Mars. The goal is to launch a crew into space within the next five years, with a landing on the surface of Mars by the year 2025, a planetary trip that would take more than a year to complete. SpaceX has assembled a Starship test rocket that will be used to practice launches and landings. Coincidentally, the shiny stainless steel rocket that's been taking shape at their launch site in South Texas is similar to the portrayal of a space rocket that was created in the 1950 Academy Award winning movie Destination Moon, a design that was the rage of science fiction enthusiasts in the mid-1900s. As you look to the sky, keep in mind 
that all cosmic events are something we cannot control. They are there for us to envision. Those things which lie beyond our vision is something that we do not yet understand, but hope to envision someday. Thanks for watching. Thank you.